Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be telling you how I pick my new hairstyle for the upcoming season. The new season being Spring Summer 2015. Yes. Um, and also the products that I'm using at the moment to get this look and a kind of little tutorial I guess in how I'm doing my hair at the moment. So I get my hair cut by um, a lovely chap named Michael Rowan who I met through my friend Sarah Cox, he does her hair um, and yeah, when you find a good hairdresser, I think it's so important to kind of hold on to them because like anyone who works in beauty, and I think for me, because I work in beauty and I have clients all the time, that you know the real skill in beauty, yes, is doing the treatment, but also listening to what your client wants. Um, and I think hairdressers, so, ma so many of them can be great hairdressers, but they don't actually listen to what you want. And you sit down in the chair and you give them the instruction or your inspiration, then you come out looking totally different. And I don't know about you, but I've definitely had a few tears as I leave the hairdresser and getting home and standing in front of the mirror and being like, what the hell am I gonna do with this? Oh. If you're thinking of changing your hair this season, why not? Um, I think changing your hair changes your face and therefore it can change your wardrobe, which is wunderbar because it means you get to shop more for clothes. Okay, so when it comes to thinking about a new hairstyle, um, start looking for inspiration, but start looking for inspiration and having the kind of following questions in your mind. Um, how practical is the haircut gonna be and how is it gonna fit into your existing routine? Because if you are busy, like me, um, I personally don't have time in the morning to do that much to my hair. I'm also not the most skilled person when it comes to hair. Although I am a beauty YouTuber, I'm, all, I'm more, um, and I'm very realistic about this, I'm more about like skincare, makeup, tanning obviously. Hair I think is sometimes my weakest area and so I need an easy to do style. Also got ridiculously thick hair so always, I'm always asking the hairdresser to thin my hair out because it literally goes wild. I also think it's good to look at pictures of yourself from recent events. What do you like and what do you not like about your hair? Um, do you want, say, a new part in? Do you want your hair to have volume? Um, I personally have really thick hair so I'm always asking my hairdresser to thin it out. Um, I like my hair to last a long time so I have it cut super short around the sides and then I leave it kind of longish on the top but I think eight weeks ahead or six weeks ahead if I'm not going to have time to see the hairdresser, is this style going to look good or am I going to need to keep going back and having it done? If that's the case, make very good friends with your hairdresser because you will be seeing a lot of them. Also I think it's good if you're getting your hair cut for a special occasion, think when the occasion is. Do you want it cut two days before, one day before, a week before? Think about the style and your hair growing into the style because that will make more difference. So here's how I picked this hairstyle. Um, I liked my hair before when I had it slick and it was all back but I felt that the slick look on my face was too much and I felt that, I think, for me, I felt like it aged me and I looked older and I didn't like that. Um, so what did I like from that style? I really liked the side part in. Um, but what I didn't like was the gel. So I had to kind of think, right, what do I want to do? Where, am I, where do I want to go with this? Um, I have a really busy routine and I also, I'm not always in London, I'm, neither is my hairdresser, so I need my haircut to last. So I always start, when I'm looking for inspiration, I look at celebrities, I look at red carpet, and I also look through magazines. Um, magazines, I think, are a really great place to start because they're like this world of inspiration for us, whether it's fashion, sport, holidays, they're there to kind of give us, I don't know, a little like guiding. One of my favourite magazines to look through is GQ Style. Um, GQ Style is a bi-annual magazine, which means it comes out twice a year, so autumn, winter and spring, summer. Um, it's such a good magazine if you're into high fashion, if you're into catwalk, if you want kind of really fresh style, um, both in fashion and in grooming. Don't just look for the grooming features, but look at the campaigns and the shoots that are in there and look at the styles in that because the people who are doing those hairstyles are usually the best in the industry. Um, in the front of the magazine is always the campaign shoots, but I, aka advertising. 
Um, and I love this Calvin Harris for Emporio Armani style. Um, I'm not a massive fan of the clothes, but the hair in the, um, in the image is amazing. I really like that kind of, in one shot he's got messy hair and in the other shot he's got clean hair, but it's obviously the same cut. So that kind of versatility from a cut, I like. And as I'm flicking through, I'm seeing amazing styles that I know look incredible, but require quite a lot of skill to get that style. Something that I don't think I have the skill to do it. Also, I don't really have the time to be messing about with gels and waxes and curling irons and tongs to kind of get this amazing do. It's just busy. So then I'm flicking through and I come to this feature um, with Lamvan and Arsenal. Now, Arsenal Football Ground, or the Emirates as it's called, uh, um, is actually the nearest football ground to my house when I'm in London. So, um, you know, it's quite nice to pay a bit of homage to them in my YouTube videos. Um, and this feature is styled by Luke Day and the hair is being done by Matt Mulhall. Now, the footballer, Mazu Azil, I think that's how you pronounce his name, has a really nice haircut. Um, the haircut is just what I'm after. It's got that kind of short sides, long on top, and then it has this really nice shaved in parting. Now, the shaving in of the parting makes the hair kind of, you can see here, um, a little bit thicker where the parting is, so it's much easier to style. And I photographed these images on my phone and took it to my hairdresser, showed him, and here you go. So when it comes to styling this hair, um, it's actually so easy, which is perfect for me. Um, I'm back home at the moment, um, and when I'm back home, I'm usually quite stressed because I kind of haven't stopped, and I've kind of been like, go, 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 go. And so I always forget that I leave products here, so it's nice to come back and find products in my bathroom drawer here. Um, and at the moment, I'm washing my hair with this Fudge um, Mint shampoo and conditioner. It's so calming. Um, you put it on your hair, and I leave the conditioner in when I wash my face and wash my body, and when you go back to rinse your hair out, the conditioner just leaves your scalp all tingly, which, I don't know, when you're kind of going through a little bit of stress, it's very nice. So I blow dry the hair when it's wet. I'm using my Mum's Pro Lux 3000 hairdryer, which, if you don't have a GHD hairdryer, this one is quite good and very similar. Um, blow dry it forward, and then I like to just cut my quiff in my hand and just blow dry it back. Um, I noticed that when my hairdresser was blow drying his hair, he was kind of working his hands around the hair and kind of giving it texture as he was blow drying it, which I think is a really good tip because when you're in that hairdresser's chair, watch what your hairdresser's doing when it comes to styling your hair, and don't be afraid to ask them because they do this day in, day out, and you just need a few little lessons. Well, you might not, you might be perfect, but I always need a few little lessons. And then where the parting is, I'm actually turning the hairdryer on its side and blow drying my hair away from it so that it moves away from the parting and can show the clear definition of the style. Because my hair is nice and short at the moment, it's taking me no time in the morning to blow dry it, which is an absolute dream. Shaving moments off the schedule, brilliant. Um, and then styling it using the TG Rebuilding Wax, which I actually got this in a goodie bag from a party ages ago and I put it in my hair and it was too thick and strong for the style that I had and now that I've got this shorter style I can actually go to town with this, it's brilliant. It's holding my hair beautifully throughout the day and I'm using um, a quite a generous amount when I'm applying it to my hair and then just literally rubbing it all in and then when it comes to doing the parting I'm using the palms of my hand pressing it together um, and then it's creating a real difference in texture around the front and the side to the top. Um, I've got that little tip of my hairdresser and I really like it. So just palm away and you'll just get this nice smooth finish at the front, messy at the back. So there you go, that's how I got to this haircut. For me this season it's all about the shaved in part in, short at the sides, a little bit longer at the top and think about a hairstyle that you can grow into, that by the time you go back to your hairdresser it's not going to look shambolic and all you're going to need is a neatening up. This shirt is by Cheap Mondays, I've never worn it on film before, I don't know why, it looks fantastic. Um, if you're liking these videos and if you like my new hair, please give me a little thumbs up. Also, if you want to subscribe to my channel, hey hey, subscribe. Um, if you want to stalk me more closely, Instagram is at Jules Von Hepp, as is my Twitter and also 
I've just created a new Facebook page, so if you want to give me a like on there, please feel free. Um, I will see you next week for more grooming and beauty wonders. Check out my blog in between, jewelsheptonstore.com, because I've got some corker features going up on there. See you next week. Bye. Okay, so here's how I picked this hairstyle. Ha! Huh, that was a pheasant. Hmm. <laughs> yes, the clocks changed last week. I'm so happy that um, spring is here. I'm actually a bit of a dust there. 